This is a quick demonstration of using GeoAnalytics and uh, WMS services as provided by a GIS department. So here we are showing a incident map for City of Abbotsford's fire department. We've got in the last seven days 195 incidents and we're displaying these on a map. Now City GIS has provided us access to a WMS services so we've um, for example their air, air photo uh, 2019 images are available here uh, using this you'll see that it's a single image that's clipped to their geographic area uh, the configuration of this looks something like this I'm just going to zoom in a bit uh, for GIS folks this will look somewhat familiar looking at ArcGIS Geocortex and it throws us a WMS server service that we then um, implement in the GeoAnalytics object as the URL the source format is WMS version 1.3 and our coordinate system in this case 3857 I'm going to turn off the satellite layer and take incidents in the last 365 days that are public hazard. And there we go. Now we've got some other layers. Actually, there are many, many, many uh, layers that they've provisioned on their server, but it would be interesting here to see uh, they've already built into this a 10-minute response zone. So on the map right now we're looking at 118 incidents, public hazard, and they've got a layer called the 10-minute response zone. So this is um, effectively what they've determined as the response area f um, for their equipment can see that some of the incidents of course are lying outside of that area. Uh, now we're just going to add a couple more layers. You can we've added a control here and a methodology for adding multiple WMS layers. They they're, they're uh, I'll say translucent and they can be stacked on top of each other. So I'm just going to add in schools and perhaps catchment areas and you can start to see um, you get more context that can be provided. Turn off all the layers. They've got another one here of population density. Now all of these layers come in as um, just backgrounds for our maps and do provide context. There are other techniques whereby you can bring in the actual shapes and use them for uh, selections and so on leave you with one last little bit. If you have access to a GIS specialist, they can probably point you in the direction of um, the actual services and it might look something like this where you can get into uh, base URL and start digging into the various uh, layers that might be uh, of use to your analysis. And that's it for now. If you f have any questions about this, uh, I'll be posting some other uh, interesting mapping permutations, uh, hopefully in the near future. But anyway, reach out if you find this helpful or have any questions. Thanks. Bye now.